we are starting a new chapter that refers to something that is not completely independent from the previous chapter, the compatibility equations. That's something that is good to know for several reasons. It could be included in the, in the other chapter, but for some reasons, it's now make as a separate issue that's one, what we're going to tackle today. So the subject is, as I said, compatibility equations, right? So the point is the following. Look, as for the straits and the definition of the straits, so far we have defined different measures of strains, the so-called, for instance, the Lagrangian strain measure, or another one, typically, the infinitesimal strain measure. <coughs> Look that they are defined in terms of derivatives of, among other, or other options, derivatives of the displacements with respect to the coordinates. So it's, in that sense, imagine that we know the displacement field. For instance, the material description of the displacement field. And then, of course, if we know this, there is no problem in differentiating the different components of this vector with respect to the coordinates and do these operations and obtain every component of the strain tensor and for every time t, just by differentiation. The same applies to the infinitesimal strain case in which if we know the displacement field as a function of space and, and time, you know that in this case it doesn't matter if this is description material or spatial because they coincide with each other. So again, just by doing derivatives, a little simpler than before because this term can be neglected as we, as we said, just by differentiation with respect to space of this tensor vector field, we can obtain the nine components, by, by the way, by symmetry, the six different components of the strain tensor. So, given the displacements, obtaining the strains is a trivial issue, just differentiating, okay? But sometimes, and we'll see that when we focus some problems in the future, Sometimes the process takes, act, takes us to the opposite way. So sometimes we know the strains as a solution of a certain problem due to something, and then we want to know the displacements. And that's the goal of this chapter. Is this possible? In other words, is this always possible? So given a set of, uh, of six numbers, which constitute a certain symmetric matrix. Is there a displacement field that can be understood as the one that produces this strain field? But the starting point, the data, is that. So giving some functions, six functions, we place them in a symmetric way in a second order tensor. Is there a displacement field that fulfills these equations to return these strains? This is not longer a problem of integration. It's a problem of, of it's, not, it's no longer a problem of differentiation. It's a problem of integration. Okay? 